back! In this video, we're gonna learn how to analyze different food labels and select those foods that, that are good sources of calcium and other nutrients. You're gonna need a pencil and a piece of paper to write down your answers. Okay, now we're gonna go over some examples of food labels to practice what we just learned. These are two examples of labels. The one on the left shows a low-fat milk label and the one on the right shows a soda label. Let's compare the amount of calcium these two drinks have. On your paper, write down which of the two has more calcium, including the percentage. You can pause this video to find the nutrient calcium and the amount of it to write it on your paper. Awesome! If you chose low-fat milk, you got it right with 30% of calcium. Now, what about sugar? Which of these two labels has more added sugar? Milk or soda? Soda with 25 grams of added sugars. Milk has 12 grams of natural sugar as well as other nutrients like protein and vitamin D. Now, let's take a look at these two labels. On the left, is an individual whole grain cereal label, and on the right, we see a frosted tart label. Which of these two labels has more added sugar? Which food has more fiber? Remember to pause this video if you need more time to write down your answers. Excellent! If you chose the tart for more added sugar, because it has 15 grams of added sugars and the whole grain cereal for more fiber, because it gives you three grams of fiber per serving, you've got this right. Remember, foods with low or not added sugar and lots of fiber help our bodies more than foods with lots of added sugar and low or no fiber. Some examples of foods with fiber are whole grains, fruits, and vegetables. Now, let's take a look at the chips label on the left and the edamame label on the right. Which food has less sodium or salt? What is the amount of sodium on the chips label? Edamame has 10 milligrams of sodium per serving, while the chips have 150 milligrams of sodium or salt. The edamame label shows it has less sodium and more nutrients than the chips. So it is a healthier snack option. Go ahead and pause this video so you can write down your answers, including the percentage of sodium. Congratulations! You are becoming an expert in using food labels as a tool to choose healthier options. You all did great. You can continue reading more food labels if you, if you might have any food labels in front of you. All right, now let's think. What if the food I'm eating does not have a nutrition fact label? Like an apple? Hmm. Well, we wanna remember to look at the big picture. Foods that are part of the five food groups like fruits, vegetables, proteins, lean proteins, they are high in nutrients along with low fat dairy products and whole grains. Remember that eating a variety from those five food groups is key to get the nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. When choosing a snack or food item, we want to ensure that we are making nutritious choices. By choosing foods that are high in calcium, vitamin D, and other nutrients, while watching out for foods that are high in fat, sodium, and sugars. Remember to use the daily value percentage when choosing foods. If something is 5% or less, then it's low. And if something is 20% or more, then it's high. You can also compare food labels when buying foods to get more nutrients per serving size and choose healthier options. This way, you ensure and you make sure that you are including important nutrients in your day instead of too many extras. All right? Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.